think I thought I'd take you through how I build my Makeover Monday and approach it as an analytical project. So the first thing I do is go to the Makeover Monday website and click on the link, which takes you to data.world. Uh, we can see for this week, week 31 of 2020, we're looking at the uh, UK visitors abroad. Uh, so basically where people from the UK travel. Um, so there's always a source article and data source. So I'm gonna go to one of those. They're actually both the same. So uh, what I'm gonna do then is uh, look at the data here. So it looks like we have two options, a uh, chart and a table. So those just flip back and forth. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can then see when we hover over, we can see the value. This looks like the monthly level. We can also look at it quarterly and yearly. And then it looks like there's some filters things like that, and also like the animation. So um, now overall, um, I don't think this is a particularly poor visualization. I might do some things different. Um, the scale is quite wide compared to what it is tall. Usually it'd be about three, uh, three wide by two tall. So maybe that, um, I don't like all the dots on the lines either. It kind of takes some of the focus away, but I do like, you know, kind of these options to, to filter by the frequency and the time period. And um, maybe we can accomplish that with, a uh, with a parameter action. So um, yeah, let's let's give it a go. So I'm going to go ahead and just download the data from data.world, and then let's go ahead and open that and see what it looks like. All right. So uh, oh, this is a bit messy here. It looks like there's uh, these are all in thousands. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and it looks like if you look at this column here, it looks like these are years. Uh, then we have quarters, and then we have months. Um, so, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if the, so let's look at all of 1986. So that's 24,947, and that matches that. Okay, so I can get rid of the years and the quarters because Tableau, uh, we can create a calculation or do something with these date fields um, in order to, um, make them quarter a year if we want. So uh, uh, let's delete. Okay, very good. And then I'm gonna get rid of this stuff at the top. And uh, I can get rid of this one as well. I'm gonna rename this one to month. And then this is, uh, I'm actually gonna multiply each of these times a thousand to get me the, the numbers that I want. And then copy, paste special values. Uh, so delete that. And uh, it looks like, so what they call this in the original, they call it visits abroad. So I'm just gonna call this visits abroad. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. Close that window. I'm gonna go over to my finder here and I'm going to copy that over to where I keep all of my data for um, Makeover Monday. And I'm just gonna drag that into Tableau and it should connect for us. Okay, so I'm gonna call this Makeover Monday 2020 week 31. All right, and it looks like all's good here. Notice how this one says uh, January uh, 1986. So I'm just gonna click on the little ABC here and change it to a date field. And on Mac Tableau automatically reads that properly and we're good to go. Okay, so Let's uh, go back over to the original and we just have a simple line chart by month. All right, so let's see if we can do that. So I'm actually going to make this continuous by default uh, and let's pick a month and then visits abroad. And there we go, we have a nice little line chart. Um, so we have a decision to make. It looks like uh, we've got you know, the dates for 2020 and there's a big drop off because of COVID. And then I also see kind of a drop off here, which I suspect is, uh, let's see. So that's, um, you know, July. Okay. So that's the, that's the great recession. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave those in. Um, so that kind of covers this line chart. So I'm already done there, um, but I want to be able to use her to switch between month, quarter, and year. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter and I'm going to call this, uh, what do they call it? Uh, frequency. Frequency. And I'm going to make it a string and list. And I'm going to put all of these in lowercase. So month, oops. And I'll explain why in a second quarter, 
year, but to the user, I want to display them as uh, monthly, uh, quarterly, and yearly. All right, and hit OK, and let's show that parameter. Great, uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a single value list. All right, so what I wanna be able to do now is uh, I'm gonna call this my date, and I wanna do a date trunk function, because I wanna truncate the date based on the frequency that they pick. So the date part, I'm going to actually just put my parameter in there, because if you remember, when I created the parameter, I had lowercase month, quarter, and year, and if you look at your date, uh, um, you look at your date function here, you can see that uh, down here in the example it says date trunk quarter. So yeah, so good to go there. So uh, then I don't have to manually type them all out with an if statement or anything like that. So I'm going to just evaluate the month field and hit OK. And I'm going to make that a date field. And uh, let's go ahead and make that continuous and then I'm going to just replace the month field. So let's do, uh, I don't know, let's set it at the monthly level and see what happens. And then we switch it to quarters, and then years. Okay, great. So it gives us January. All right, so I think we're good to go. Um, the issue now is it gives us the quarters. Yeah, so I probably want to change this to exact date. All right, and there we go. So we got each of our dates, very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and label the ends of the lines. So min max on my date field. And uh, let's see, do I want to, yeah, I'll allow overlap. Um, okay, I'm going to make it maybe, I don't know, 12 point, tableau medium. Oh, 12's a bit big, maybe 10, uh, let's go with 11, match the mark color. And then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, visits abroad onto the label shelf. So there we go. So we got those values. Um, okay, so all of these are in the millions, I think. So if we look at, yeah, so I'm going to change my default number format for my visits abroad. I'm going to set it to a custom number, one decimal in millions, because that's good enough for me. So yeah, 16.9 million. Okay, and I'm going to format this axis so that it's just in uh, millions. So number custom millions. So you see now my, uh, I need to also change the pane. So let's see what that does. Uh, so visits abroad. Oh, let's see, I need to undo that. And what do we have here? So the axis is that, let me go ahead and clear. All right, let's try this again. So we've got uh, one point, we've got 16 million here. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this field. And when I format this one, I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to actually set that to zero decimals, millions. <clears throat> and when you hover over, you see my tooltip says, uh, what's nice is my ends of my lines say the right, uh, have the one decimal, but uh, the others don't. So I'm going to actually create, uh, let's default properties number format. That's in the millions. Okay, let's put that onto the tooltip. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and not include that one in tooltip. There we go. So now I've got my date, number of visits abroad. Okay, so let's change the tooltip. So date, um, and I'm just going to keep my tooltip nice and simple. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so uh, what can we do here then? Let's... Um, so this is all working well. Okay, very good. Um, let's go ahead and, so we've got our parameter and then it looks like over on the original, they also had a filter for the last uh, last 10 years, last five years in custom. Okay, so let's create another parameter and let's call it uh, 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 time period. And let's change this to a, I'm actually gonna make this an integer and a list and uh, we want to make it 10, and the value I want to show is last 10 years, and then I'm going to do five, last five years, and then um, all. So, oh, let's see, let's make this, I'm just going to make it like 100, because I know there's not 100 years of data in there, and let's make that all. 
and I'm going to drag that one to be the first one. So it looks like all last 10 years. Okay, good. I'm not going to worry about the custom option. Let's hit OK. And then I want to create a filter for that. So um, I'm going to call it my date filter. And I want to say the year of my, uh, uh, my date field is uh, less uh, is greater than the uh, let's see I need to take the maximum year in the data set so it's going to be max uh, around mustachios max uh, year of date uh, so that's going to give me the maximum year in the entire data set uh, minus our time period so that's going to be minus 10, minus 5, whatever. So let's hit OK. And to check this, I'm just going to put that on color. And it's going to split up my view. And let's go ahead and show the parameter. And that's all right. So it should move it over to last five years. OK, so there we go. Good. So what I want to do then is I want to just keep only the true. All right. And notice how the ends of my lines get colored nice and neat too. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's take the date filter off of the view because I don't really need that. I was just using that for testing. Let's just double check it, make sure it works. Great. Okay. Uh, what else could we do here? So I, I thought it might, maybe it would be neat. So, you know, the user, what if I wanted to compare to a dot that I pick on? I like how we got this little halo effect here, but let's say that I want to be able to um, highlight the, uh, have everything compared to the dot that I pick on. So if I click, you know, um, you know, October of, uh, uh, let's see, this is a Q, looks like October of 2001. So it's really Q, uh, Q1, uh, I'm sorry, Q4 of 2001. How does everything compare to that? So let's go ahead and create a new calculated, uh, let's create a new uh, parameter. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the date that we pick on into a parameter. So date parameter, and it's gonna be a date and I'm just going to hit OK, and I'm going to show my parameter. So what I want to do now is I'm going to set up a parameter action. Where is a worksheet actions? I'm going to add a change parameter action. I'm going to call it update date parameter. And a target parameter is my date parameter, and I'm going to pass to it my date field. Now, I like to show the parameter because now when I click on something, I should see it update. OK, great. So that's exactly correct. So now that I have that date, I need to return, uh, so this is 15.3 million. So I want to be able to um, show how every other time period compares to that one I selected. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag on a reference line because I want to see kind of where that dot crosses. So uh, let's do a, uh, we want to do it based on the date parameter. I'm going to make it a line, maybe nice and thick like that. Okay, so now when I click on a date, it moves over. Perfect, exactly what I want it to do. Um, so uh, we now need to go ahead and get the date for that uh, particular value. So let's call this um, date of, uh, let's call this selected, if I could spell, selected date visits. And I want to say uh, if uh, the uh, parameter, uh, so if the date is equal to our date field, then we want to return the visits abroad uh, end. That's going to return uh, the visits for that date. So let's throw that onto the, um, the uh, let's put it on the, uh, let's put it on the tooltip for now. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the tooltip just so I can see what it's doing. Uh, to, to selected date. Okay, so now you can see here the only place that I have it is on this one dot. So that doesn't then let me compare to all the other dots. So you see here when I'm on January of 2008, I don't see that 15 million value. So I need to change this into a level of detail expression so it returns it every time. So I'm going to use a uh, kind of an overall uh, total. So mustachio, wrap this in a sum, and then a bracket and a mustachio and hit OK. And now we can see that returns everywhere. Perfect. So now we can say uh, uh, percent uh, 
from selected. So what I want to do is I want to take my uh, my visits minus, uh, oh, I could just use my visits. That might be a bit easier to understand. So the visits minus the selected. And I want to do it as a percent change. So I'm going to wrap that whole thing in brackets and then divide it by that, hit OK. And I'm going to set the default number format to be one decimal. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it all, uh, yeah, so default properties, where to go, number format, and percentage to one decimal. And let's drag that onto the, I'm going to put it on the rows, and I'm going to move this one to the detail shelf. So um, let's see here. So move visits abroad, we can get rid of select date visits we don't need. Okay, so now we can see everything is a percent change. And maybe I put that percent difference also on the color shelf. So now we can see some differences here. Okay, great. So as I click through, you should see my color legend adjusts. Nice and neat. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to set my zero line to look the same as, as the uh, the reference line. So let's format that. Let's. I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my grid lines off and make it nice and clean. So that, it was the third one, uh, thicker. There we go. So now as I click through, I can see each of them. All right, perfect. Uh, right, so our selected date visits. So I'm just going to copy this for now because I want to put a dot where it crosses. So let's create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this um, visits dot. And I'm just going to paste that. And I'm going to put that here as a second axis. Um, I've got 136 nulls. I don't care about that because that's all the values I'm not showing. Let's make that a circle. Let's maybe outline it in in um, in black and maybe set the color to be something else. We'll figure that out in a second. So let's make that a dual axis and synchronize. Uh, oh, this needs to be the percent change. So I need to. Um, yeah. So so I need to do. Uh, yeah, I need to do this. So I want to say, um, yeah, so I want to do this. Um, let's see. So I want to say if that, then. So I need to just copy this in here. So then I want to do my visits abroad. Uh, so. Oh, this is always going to need to be zero. Yeah, because it's always going to be at zero. So let me just hit OK. And so let's put that there. It's always going to match. Uh, and then I think on this shelf, I need to, I could just get rid of all of these things. OK. And my uh, visits dot, I only want that to appear when I have, uh, when it's the same. So I'm going to say if uh, date equals uh, date parameter, then a zero, and hit OK. Now I get it just in that one spot. Very good. Uh, let's make it like that. Let's make it a bit lighter. And let's make it bigger so we can actually see it a bit better. OK, great. And I need to remember to synchronize. I'm going to hide this axis. And I am going to turn off my tooltips on this guy here. So let's turn that off. And um, right, so so that looks pretty good. I'm going to do a bit more formatting while I'm here and get rid of my column and row dividers. Um, actually, maybe I'll leave the column dividers. Yeah, let's let's take those off. Okay, so what do we have here then? So we can see when we hover over, we see something like that. I want to format this axis. Um, let's set this to uh, percentage zero decimals. But now when I hover over, I can see the visits abroad. Very good. And then uh, let's also put the difference from selected on tooltip. And let's see what this does. Uh, percent change. So let me just paste this. So difference from, I'm going to insert my parameter, colon, and then 
and I'm just gonna paste this here so I get the same formatting and then insert my uh, da -da -da percent difference from selected. Okay, so let's see what this does now, 13%. Yeah, okay, so that's good. All right, now my date parameter, I need to edit this and get rid of the label and get rid of the tooltip. Okay, oh, it's still edit. I need to choose none. All right, so, okay, so from there, we're gonna go ahead and build out the rest of the visualization with uh, some parameters. I'm gonna go back and look at the original visualization and these are kind of buttons. So I, I wanna mimic this kind of behavior so I can do that with some uh, some sh some tricks on some sheets and some parameter actions. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm just gonna call this my chart. I'm gonna build a new sheet. Now, <clears throat> what I wanna do here is, oops, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have these going vertically. So uh, I'm going to do average of zero and then average of 0.0. .0. And I'm doing this because I want to have multiple shelves. Okay. And I'm going to turn my tooltip off. Just do that right now. And I'm going to make all of these texts. So I'm going to, it's going to require me creating a few calculations. Actually, let me go back here and uh, copy formatting. I'll just go ahead and get that done. Paste formatting. All that's gone. And uh, actually, I need to format my zero lines then. So let's just make those none. Okay. <clears throat> so I want this first one to say, uh, let's see, what is it going to say? It's going to say uh, month, monthly, quarterly, yearly. I think that's how I have it looking over here. Yeah. So let's create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this monthly label. And it's just going to have the word monthly in it. And hit OK. And I'm going to drag that to the month, to the first marks card. OK, and I'm going to create another one. That is my quarter label. And that's just going to say quarterly. And hit OK. Put that on the second shelf. And then the third one is going to be a yearly label. And that's going to just say yearly. And put that on the third shelf. <clears throat> and three more. So I'm just going to call this year in lowercase and put the word year on there. Put that into the detail shelf of this one. I need that to pass to my parameter. You'll see here in a minute. Uh, and then I'm going to call this one month. Oops, let's make this one quarter. Quarter. And I'm just going to put the word quarter in the text. And then let's create one more month, month, all right, and then put that one on the month shelf. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the frequency. Let's see, which time period is this frequency? Yep, so let's show the parameter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, worksheet action. I'm going to have to recreate these as, as uh, dashboard actions, but let's do change parameter. I'm going to say update. Uh, uh, monthly, my parameter is going to be my uh, frequency and the field I'm going to pass to it is month. So if I hit OK and I click on this, notice how it changed my parameter just changed to monthly. If I click on quarterly, it doesn't do anything. So I need to repeat that each time. So we'll do that once we get into the dashboard. Um, so I'm going to format my text here. So let me just go here. I'm going to make it all uh, maybe bold. Uh, put these all in the same row and let's make them all uh, maybe tableau yeah let's make a medium and maybe 14 point something like that all right that looks pretty good yeah let's uh yeah you know, we might need to fix it up a bit later and i'm going to go ahead and hide the headers okay so this is my <clears throat> uh i'm going to call this my um frequency C filter. And then I'm going to have another one for the time period. So I'm actually just going to, uh, let's see, yeah, let me just create a new sheet. And I'm going to call this one time period filter. And <clears throat> right, so uh, I'm going to do the same thing here. Average of zero. 
average of 0 0.0, oops, and then average of 0 0.00. Oh, again, all marks card. I'm going to turn off my tooltip straight away and make them all text. And uh, yep, and then I'm going to copy my formatting. Oops. So copy formatting and paste it over here. All right, <clears throat> and I can just go ahead and hide the headers. I don't need them on there. So this one is going to say, so if I have my, if I uh, show this one, it's all last 10 years, last five years, but then we have 110, five. Okay, uh, so let's create a new calculated field. Uh, and we want, what does it say first? It says all, um, so all text. And I'm just gonna have the word all and put that onto the first marks card on text. And then let's create another one. So the, uh, so all years, and I'm just gonna put the value of 100 in there and put that onto the detail shelf. And then repeat this for the other two. So this is going to be um, last, uh, where the hell is it on here? It goes last 10 years. Just going to put the text last 10 years and hit OK. That goes on my second shelf on the text shelf and then uh, last 10 years. And I want to pass the value of 10 to that. <clears throat> and the reason I'm putting it as a dimension is because I don't want it to aggregate. And then one more uh, last uh, five years. And then uh, last five years, I'll put that on the text and create one more calculation, which is uh, last five years and put the number five in that one, drag that up to the dimensions, put it on detail. Okay, so let me show this parameter and <clears throat> the action I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a change parameter action uh, I'm gonna rename it later, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna update my time period, and I'm gonna update it with, uh, let's just say, uh, uh, all years, for example. Let's hit okay, hit okay again. Um, let me just change it manually first. So it says last 10 years now. If I click on the word all, it changes back over to all. So, okay, so that's working great. Um, let me check how I formatted these. So I did, uh, let's see, 14 point and black. So, so let's do the same thing here. Oh, looks like I have a typo on one of these as well. Okay, so let's make it 14. Okay, uh, so this one, let's rename that to be last five years. Okay, so <clears throat> we are nearly done, I believe. Okay, I'm going to actually look up. Uh, so here's the ONS logo. So I want to pick the colors and use those for my color range. So let's go here. I'm going to double click on that to bring out my custom color palette. Um, let me actually cancel out of this. And I'm going to, um, let's drag this onto my other desktop. Go back to Tableau, pick the color from that. Uh, so I want the negatives to be this maybe bluish color, and then I want the positives to be this like greenish color. Okay, so just kind of branding it a bit. Okay, that looks good enough. Um, maybe I'll use the full color range as well. Okay, that didn't really change anything. So. Okay, so now again, if I click on here, you'll see the colors gradually change. Very good, all right, I like that. Um, and I'm gonna need a field later on. I'm gonna call this dummy and hit okay. I'm gonna put that on the all marks card and then put it on the all marks card here as well. Go to my, okay, so I think I'm ready to build my dashboard and Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And okay, 
So difference from, where was my difference from? So let's edit this, edit this, oops, let's change the number formatting. And let's make it a plus sign on the positive and a minus sign on the negative. Okay, so, <clears throat> and then I need to format it here as well, percent difference, so format. Mm -hmm. So let's make it um, plus, and then, okay, there we go. So now we have our pluses and our minuses, that looks good. All right. So I'm going to start putting my dashboard together uh, and I'm going to delete the phone layout. And uh, let's say I like 900 by 600, that's my favorite size. I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to floating and drag on a vertical container, set it to 00, 00 900, 600. Okay, go back to my dashboard, or actually let's go back here again. I'm going to set some outside padding on it. So uh, we want to do like, um, I don't know, uh, 20. Good enough. And uh, actually, no, I want to do inside padding. So let's make that 20. All right, and now I'd like to put a, uh, I'm going to put a blank in here as a placeholder and then text, I'm just gonna call this my title. I'll come up with that later. Maybe make it uh, you know, 18 point, 20 point, whatever. 18 points, fine. Uh, black, maybe Tableau uh, regular. Mm, or Tableau, Tableau book, or bold, whatever, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so then um, now I need to think about my, my layout that I'm going to do. What well, you might notice here if you've watch some of my other videos about dashboarding so I'm starting to develop a bit of a a bit of a style that I like um, that, I, that I've been using a lot lately so uh, but before I do that I probably should save this workbook at some point so uh, I'm just going to save it out to my and let's call this week 31 uh, what is this data set called it's uh, UK visits abroad Okay, visits abroad and save. Okay, great. I want to make sure I have that before I inevitably lose it if I don't. Okay, so the design I'm going to kind of go for is going to have like uh, a chart over here in this area and then maybe filters down the side. So uh, I first need to go ahead and put another container in here and uh, the blank I can then move into this container okay and then I'm going to go ahead and put another container next to this one to hold my little filters so I'm going to put another blank inside of this one maybe put a text box at the top of that that says like you know filters something like that uh, maybe make it uh, black maybe 12 point something like that and then uh, this is where I'm going to stick my um, my um, uh, the the uh, the options to pick uh, the frequency or the or the time period. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and oops, I'm going to go ahead and put the chart in here as well. I'm going to hide the title. Now, what you'll notice now is in this layout, uh, you'll see all this tiled stuff got stuck in here, and I hate. How Tableau does this, so uh, I want to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and kill the colored legend. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm going to just go ahead and float uh, this this container that has the options in it. And then I'm going to finally just remove the tiled container. Um, okay, so this option now. Uh, let's see. Let's undo that do that. So let's move this into this container. Uh, no, I don't even want to do that. I want to get rid of all of these. So let me remove that. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show my parameters. So parameters, I want to show my frequency parameter. And oh shoot, again, Tableau put it in this stupid container. And I need to float that. 
and then put it into this sheet. And then I want to show my other uh, parameter. No, I don't want to show the parameter. That's so dumb. I want to show my sheets. So frequency and time period. That's what I actually want. I don't want the container. And in my layout, now I can get rid of that uh, tiled container again for the second time. Okay, so now uh, this box, I'm just going to make this a uh, just a black background. Um, and let's just set the width. Uh, let's see, I need to get rid of all of the outer padding, and then I'm going to make it a width of two. So edit width two. Okay, so that gives me a nice little line on the side. And then this I'm going to make a bit wider. Hide the title, hide the title. Um, oh, I still messed up this. Uh, something's wrong with my time period here. So uh, let's go here to text. Uh, and this should be last five years. Okay, there we go. Uh, something isn't quite right here. What did I do? Uh, so that's all. Ah, I think on my... Yeah, I messed this up, so I don't want, let me just delete that, uh, undo, what did I do here? So this one should just say all text. Uh, this one should just say last 10 years. And then the last one, this one should be last five years. I can go back and change the other one. This one should be last. So let's just insert last 10 years. Okay, so now, now it's good. Okay, so let me go back here. Uh, I can make this a bit wider. Again, I'm going to kill my time period. What the heck? I keep messing this up. Time period. Text. Last five years. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and when I show my title here, so title, I'm going to call it, um, what do they say over on the original? They say uh, time period. So um, and I'm going to make that maybe uh, maybe 10 point and maybe type like even. Let's try that. Okay, and then this one. I want to do, 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 title, and this is a frequency. So let's uh, edit the title, make it 10 point, tabloid medium, 10 point, and let's call it uh, frequency. Okay, good. And then, okay, so this, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of a spacer in here. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you and you learn a bit about how I built dashboards. Uh, let's go to this container, or this object. Let's set the background to black. And then and edit the height and make it 10. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, and now I want to give this some breathing room. I want another one. Well, I want to do something between these two. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to grab this container and I'm going to set the background of it to maybe a uh, light gray. And then on this sheet, okay, I need to go ahead and go to my, um, pop, 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 my no, let me go format. And all my borders, I actually want to turn these both back on. And let's see what that looks like now. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So let me do the same thing here. Okay, and then um, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and now go to, so I mean I can get rid of that blank because I don't need that anymore. Um, I'm going to now start adding some padding on here. So I'm going to go to my outer padding, uh, maybe uncheck that, make the top like maybe 10, the bottom 10, uh, maybe even 15. Okay. And then this one, uh, let's set the, let's again set the top to 15. Um, actually, let's do the whole thing as 15. That makes it nice and small. Yeah, that's good. 
let's do the same thing here. Okay, so as you see how it kind of spaces everything out, and then I want to set this to entire view. And for some reason, my text isn't showing at the bottom. That's quite annoying. Uh, all right, so what if I, yeah. So for some reason on this year option, it's not showing the text, great. Uh, so let's do, let's try a bit of formatting here. Let's go to borders, let's turn this cell on. And let's do the same thing here, cell. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on here. So let's remove that. And then, oops, let's go ahead and remove that and then undo it and see if it comes back. Okay, let me remove it. Let me just try putting it back in there and see what happens here. Uh, okay, that's uh, really, really obnoxious that it's not showing that now. Well, uh, hmm, I don't know what to do about that. All right, so I'm gonna, I don't, I think these fonts are all a bit too big, so I'm going to uh, just change all of them to maybe 12 point. Oh, I did it again. God, it's really annoying. Oops. Okay, so I need to go into each one of these annoyingly and change them all to maybe, let's make them 11. This is like the most painful process of building something. You get everything you like, and then it takes you forever to do all of the formatting. So 11. And then I'm going to need to do the same thing over here. Uh, actually, there's probably a shorter way. I could just click on the size shelf and just drag it down. Nope, that didn't work. OK, I know that's worked for me before. Um, OK, so let's just. Uh, See what's going here. Yeah, let's make them all 11. Did I pick 11? Yeah. Okay. And here. What did I make them all here? Uh, I think I made them 11. Huh, interesting. They look like they're a different, oh no, time period. What did I make all of these then? See, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be doing that. This is really annoying. So I should be able to come in here, make that 11 point, but it's not listening. Um, okay, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Let me just make this one a bit bigger. Oh, maybe it's because I moved the size on these, so that's, in, that's snapped into there. And let's go over here and try the same thing then. Let's go here and snap them in. Well, I don't know what's going on. They look like they're a slightly different size. All right. Um, and then I'm going to make this whole container have a border on it. So um, actually, no. What I want to do is this container, I put the sizing on the wrong part. So I want to set the outer padding to 20 and the inner padding to zero. Oops. Uh, so let me try that again. Let me set this to zero. Okay, there we go. So now this is right up against the edge. I'm going to go ahead and stick a blank in here in between. And let's uh, Go to the layout and set that to have a black background, uh, no padding, and then we can set the height to two. And I'm going to actually go to this one and set some padding on this one as well. Let's maybe make it uh, 10. Uh, yeah, something like that. And I'm going to shrink this whole thing down. Okay, I'm very annoyed that this is not working. Um, so this one, what did I do here? So on this one, I have the monthly label. And if I go on here to the all marks card, monthly label, quarter label, year label. And then what is different about this one? All text, last 10 years. And last five years. Ah, insert, maybe that's it.
Ah, there we go. Okay, helps if I type it correctly. Okay, great. So I've got all this working now. Um, I'm going to go ahead uh, and I'm going to select the whole dashboard, put a nice little border around it, and maybe make it just a light color. Oh, that didn't really work, did it? So border, maybe let's put a border like that. There we go. Okay. Um, gosh, I am super annoyed by this by this uh, white spacing here. So let's just do fit width. Um, standard. Entire view. Maybe I put some clear. No, I don't have manual sizing on or anything. Okay. Um, so, right, so I've got my filters. Um, telling my user what to do. I don't really like how much spacing there is around this one, so let's set it all to maybe four. Whoops. Maybe eight. Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go on here and add in my, oops, undo. I'm going to add in my caption. And I'm going to say, Data source is the ONS created by Andy Clable at Biz Biz BI. And center, I like to use a light gray and an eight point. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go up to format workbook. And I'm going to set everything to Tableau Light. Okay, so that looks a bit better. All right, so up here in my title, I'm just going to start playing around with the padding. Let's maybe make this like 20. Um, we need to get padding on this one as well, so let's make that 20. And then this whole thing, I want to have uh, maybe uh, 10. I want to do, yeah, I guess that one's okay. Let me just make it a bit wider so it looks a bit nicer. Okay, make it like that. Um, format title, so I want this title to be, I want to make that tablet medium. I think it's because I made the whole workbook. low light. Okay, so let's check here. Our tooltips all look good. All right, um, this one looks like it has probably too much padding, so let's do maybe, uh, I'm just going to change the top to 10 and the bottom to 10. Okay, there we go. So now you can see my filters look nice and neat. Everything's good here. I'm going to change the height of this one to be 21. There we go, so now I have a thinner line there. Okay, and this one, what is the padding on this? 15, so I wanna make sure that I give the left and the right both 15 to be consistent. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to set up my actions, or I could go ahead and throw my title on here. What does it say? Um, uh, uh, UK visits abroad. That's okay. And uh, that's kind of a boring title. Maybe I'll come up with something else. Uh, so now I need to go ahead and add my dashboard action. Well, I can, yeah, let's add our dashboard actions. Um, so I've got a f several parameter actions I need to create. So I'm going to update uh, year. And that's going to go from my, uh, let's see, which one is it? Uh, frequency update yearly. So it's going to go from my frequency. It's going to update the frequency parameter with the year field. Uh, add it again. Update monthly or quarterly. That's going to be on the same thing. And it's going to be uh, the frequency and quarter. Here's my quarter. Okay, I'm just going to hit OK. I know it's broken, so I need to go back here to the frequency and 
Oh, where's my quarter? I need to put that on detail. Okay, so dashboard actions. And this is going to update with quarter. And then one more. So let's change parameter, update monthly. And frequency, we'll update my frequency with monthly, or with month. And then I need to add in all of the change parameter actions for the time period. So update all uh, time period, all years, uh, no aggregation, uh, da -da 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 -da. change parameter, update last 10 years. Time period, last 10 years, no aggregation. And then one more. Okay, update last five years. Last five years, no aggregation. Okay, so now if I click on last 10 years, it should filter the last 10 years, last five years, all quarterly, monthly. Okay, yearly, all yearly, isn't it correct? So if I do all quarterly and yearly, okay, so yearly is broken. So let's go to this sheet. And when I pick yearly, it's broken. So I need to look at my percent difference calculation. Um, so my percent difference from, so visits abroad, selected date visits. So, um, must be my date filter, date filter. Uh, da -da. Minus time period. Let's show the parameter. Uh, okay, so let's see. So it says all. If I come back over here and I pick, or no, I'm on the wrong one, yearly. So let's uh, show control, yearly, quarterly. Okay, so maybe this is messed up. Edit, year, year. Okay, that's correct. Time period, chart, so date. Edit, frequency, yearly. Um, hmm. Damn it. Yearly, monthly, quarterly. Right, okay. Um, what did I break here? So if I get rid of my date filter, okay, so that's not it. It's something to do with this calculation percent difference from selected. So let's say, so visits abroad, I'll just take visits abroad here. Okay, so that looks right. And it's at the yearly level. Okay, so it must be something with selected date visits. Okay, so that's coming back as null. Okay, so uh, if date parameter equals date. Okay, so this is um, so date parameter is returning the date itself. So I need to truncate that. So I wonder if I can do date uh, trunk. And then I want to pass to it the frequency of the date parameter equals date. So let's try that. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And okay, so let's see what the deal is here. So if I click on this one, okay, great. So monthly, quarterly, yearly. 
Oh, I need to set up my action for moving my, so how did I set up this action? So this is uh, dashboard sheet actions. I should be able to just change this to be a dashboard action. It's gonna go from the chart, okay. And if I change it now, everything should move. Okay, but there's something wrong with this one because the color isn't right. So percent difference from, Oh, no, 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 that's right, because that's red. I'm sorry, it's uh, it's blue, which is bad. Okay, um, now it's not really very valid at the early level, but let's say quarterly, last 10 years, then you need to click on something to move it. Okay, great. Okay, now the only thing I don't like, I like all this interactivity and everything, I think that's good. Um, what I don't like is when I click on it, it then leaves that highlighted, so I'm going to fix that by putting a field called the dummy field that I created onto the detail shelf. And then I'm gonna add a dashboard action. So uh, I'm going to do a filter action. So I'm gonna call this remove chart highlight. And I'm gonna go from the chart to the chart sheet uh, on select. And I want to add a filter, so the dummy field I can just apply to anything. So why don't I put it to, gosh, what field could I put it to? Uh, it doesn't matter, month label. And what should happen now is when I click on it, it should get deselected. Okay, good. So that's all working nice. I don't like the size of the dot, though, so I'm going to adjust that. I'll make that a bit smaller. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like that. Great. All right. Uh, I wonder what it looks like if I just get rid of the dot altogether. And I go to my dashboard. Yeah, no, I like the dot. Okay. Um, maybe I'll make the inside, maybe I'll make the whole dot the blue of the color we used. Okay, we could do no border. So now, it's using the blue from the um, from the color scheme for the ONS. All right. So let's see. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go back to the dish sheet and look at my mark labels and set these back to typo medium. Okay, that's good. Uh, and. Right, so now I need to get rid of this highlighting here. So I can do the same thing with these. I think I have the dummy on there for all of them I do. Okay, so I can dashboard actions. Uh, so let's see, filter action, remove um, time period, highlight. And I wanna go from the time period to just the time period sheet on select. And I'm going to go from uh, dummy to, oh, I don't know what's on here. Um, let's just say last 10 years, I guess. I don't remember which fields are in here, so time period. Okay, so it needs to be something else. Um, let's just say monthly. Monthly, month, that's fine. Let's test that. So when I click on last 10 years, Okay, so we're going to need to also fix it so then colors those. So let's add one more dashboard action. And let's change, let's do another filter action. I'm going to call this update, uh, remove uh, frequency. And this is going to go from frequency to my frequency filter select. And we'll go from my dummy to the um, yearly label. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, nope. I want to go to the all label. Just did exactly what I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. So all text is fine. Okay. So now I click on monthly, quarterly, yearly, frequently, all. 10 years by quarter. Okay, that looks great. 
working just like I would expect. Okay, so now the only issue we have left, I think there's just one more thing, and that is setting the color of these so I know which one I picked. So let's go back to that sheet, and this is where it gets to be another little pain. So um, first off, I want to edit my parameter because I want to see month, quarter, year. Okay, so uh, let's call this uh, month selected. And I want to say frequency equals month. And hit OK. And I'm going to stick that onto this color shelf. And create another one. Uh, quarter. Uh, what I call it? Selected. So frequency equals quarter. You'll see what it's going to do here in a second. So let's put that on the color shelf there. And then one more, uh, let's call this year selected, and then it's frequency equals year. Okay, and then that. So when it's selected, I want it to be the, uh, what is my, uh, let's see, so I want it to be, uh, sheet and pick it from here. So let's go there and OK. OK. And then maybe this one I'll just make like a light gray. I'm making this a bit more difficult than I probably need to. Uh, let's just make this one just a little bit. Uh, let's make it black. This one, when it's false, we want to make it gray. Okay, and now I need to switch it. So you see that highlights nice and neat. Now quarterly, and this one, when it's false, I want to make it gray. It takes quite a bit of fiddling, but it works. So sometimes you have to do some workarounds to make it look good. And then yearly, we just need to make this one black. Black, okay. Right, so now you can tell which one is highlighted by clicking on it. All right, now we need to do the same thing here. So to do, what are the options here? Uh, so we have 110 and five. Okay, so all selected in time period equals 100. Let's put that on this one. Selected, and we want to say time period equals 10. Uh, I don't want that to be there. I want this to be all selected goes here, 10 selected goes here, and then one more five selected. Uh, this is time period equals five, and put that on color. Now the same arduous process again. So the false is we're going to make gray. Oops. And the true black. The false is going to be gray. And then I need to cycle through the options again. So I click on all. This one is going to be black. It's false would be gray. And the last option is last five years. And this one just needs to be black. Okay, so there we go. So we are pretty much done. Um, I'm still not sure I like the Tableau light, so I'm going to just kill that. Yeah, that's better. Um, let me format this axis. I'm going to make the font a bit smaller and a bit lighter. And then same thing for this one. Let's make the font, uh, oops. So we want to make the font smaller and lighter. Okay, now if we go to quarterly, yearly. Okay, so I need to format my axis. 
scale. Um, why do I want to do this? Uh, well, that's okay. I'll just leave it. I've had enough quarter and all periods. Okay. Um, okay, so UK visits abroad. Um, so maybe there's another way to state this. So let's go here. What does this say here? It says um, overseas tourists, tourism, uh, all visits, UK visits abroad. So this must mean there's not a lot of overseas publication. Okay, so let's go to this publication too. It says um, visits to the UK by overseas residents, visits abroad by UK residents. Okay, so visits abroad, where is it here? Trends in overseas visits by UK, okay. Mm. Okay. Trends in overseas visits, okay. Da, da, da. I'm trying to think of another way to phrase my title. Is that spending? Okay. So maybe visits overseas by UK residents would be better. Visits overseas by UK residents. Oh, we don't do it with periods the way we should. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, yeah. So I need to somehow tell them what to do when they click on this, when they click on a, uh, a mark. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so maybe if I put a subtitle in here. Um, millions of visits versus in my date parameter. So if I do this, uh, Okay, that looks that's good enough, I think. Monthly all quarterly. I like quarterly the best, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, so I'm gonna insert here my parameter. So this is my frequency. So now it says quarterly overseas visits compared to yada yada. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna remove the italics. Maybe make this a bit bigger. Okay. Maybe make this a shade lighter. Yeah. All right. I think that I am done. I know this is a arduous process, um, but you know, I, I, I find it useful. I, ho I hope you found this useful as well to see kind of how I approach building a dashboard. How do I design the containers, all that kind of stuff. So I will get this up on my tablet public and uh, let me know in the comments if you, if you found this useful. Um, if it's way too long, that's perfectly fine to say as well, uh, but hopefully you found it useful. All right, have a good day.